These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. And good morning on a Tuesday. Nick Saletti here with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. America votes 2024. Today, the last day to mail back your ballot for the Arizona presidential preference election. Election day next Tuesday, March 19th. You can drop off your ballot at one of many polling places around the city. To find a location near you, go to elections.maricopa.gov. It's hard to wrap my head around. I'm losing sleep over this because I just I don't know what to do. And the clock is ticking on another health care dispute that could impact thousands of patients. The deal between Dignity Health and insurance company Aetna expires at the end of the month. If a new agreement isn't reached before April 1st, patients could have to find themselves out of network. It's important to note emergency care would still be covered regardless of network status. Thousands of students across Arizona this morning now getting free breakfast and lunch for the rest of the school year. The USDA recently expanding the community eligibility provision program where students whose parents qualify for SNAP or other federal assistance get their school meals for free. Previously, at least 40% of students at a school had to meet the requirement. Now it's down to 25%, expanding to more than 3,000 school districts nationwide. Struggling with the cost of living, mental health, or maybe battling addiction. There are so many factors leading to the problem of homelessness, but a home, even a temporary one, is much more than just four walls. It's safety and security. The Let's Show No team sharing a big resource helping the valley. Helping Arizonans facing homelessness. It's a mission for Joseph Charles, executive director of the Arizona Justice Center, which he helped establish in Glendale more than a decade ago. We're seeing people thrown into homelessness that never experienced it before for one reason or another. One of those people facing the unknown is Let Joe Know viewer Prima. They reached out to our team desperate for help, saying they and several other families were living on the street after going through a sober living program. Our problem solver Grant hopped on the case. He reached out to the Arizona Justice Center to see if they could offer any resources, and they came through. Helping them to get their lives back in order is one of the first steps. Prima and other families who showed up on a set day were housed in a hotel while they worked to redeem a housing voucher. To bring hope into their lives, just one person at a time. Helping with housing placement, just one of the resources the Arizona Justice Center offers, like collecting and storing important mail for those who are unhoused, helping navigate food stamps and insurance, legal and counseling services. They also partner with other organizations to provide a lifeline through government phones and Operation ID. They come in here with the computer access to give the people their birth certificates, driver's licenses, vital records that they've either lost or got stolen or destroyed on the street. Identification makes it possible for people to apply for housing or a job. Help one step at a time by meeting people where they are. We just don't have a, a fix on it yet, but we're getting there. I think we're all getting there working together. To learn more about the Arizona Justice Center, resources they offer, or to volunteer, go online to abc15.com slash let Joe know. For the Let Joe Know team, I'm Faye Fredericks. The Arizona Department of Revenue launching an all new tax filing tool today. Eligible taxpayers can file their federal and state returns electronically for free. Arizona wanted just a few states offering the new program this year. You can learn more at uh, directfile.irs.gov. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Sermos. You another warm day today. Phoenix stops out at 80 degrees. We'll see some passing clouds this afternoon. Otherwise, look for mostly sunny conditions. Dry weather, too. Temperatures in the 50s to 60s across northern Arizona. Then we've got our eyes on another storm system coming our way later this week. By Thursday and Friday, we've got a chance for rain in the valley. Early estimates show that we could pick up a tenth to maybe two tenths of an inch of rain here in the Phoenix metro. For the high country, though, a chance for snow with showers beginning Wednesday and then snow showers likely on Thursday. Thursday and Friday. That's when we see those rain chances and snow chances rather go up into that 80% range. We could pick up anywhere from three to seven inches of snow in spots like Flagstaff. Some of it falling Thursday, some of it falling Friday. So that's what we'll be watching closely. Temperatures are going to get much cooler too across the state. Highs will fall into the 60s by Thursday here in the valley with highs in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees Friday too. Cooler up north as well. And then the valley begins to dry out Sunday and early next week. For the latest headlines, weather, and traffic, go to abc15.com or just download our free ABC 15 mobile app. These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.